Hopefully y'all can see me okay. What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for clicking on my video again. And welcome back to the channel. My name is Antonio. And I just had uh, a few quick thoughts on my mind. I didn't want to elaborate on this uh, too much. Um, you know, uh, I'm aware that we are all, uh, for the most part, uh, spiritual beings uh, experiencing uh, human symptoms, i.e. my blackness, which I'm very proud of. Um, but I didn't want to repeat this too many times or, or go over this too many times in the future or uh, having uh, too many talks about you know, blackness uh, versus what's, what's right or what's wrong or what's going on in this country. So, like power. Um, but I was uh, coming across uh, a, a video that uh, I was watching a couple days ago in regards to, um, you know, how you know, politics and what, you know, certain people are old in this country and, and the way this country is changing. Um, I'm reading the Reconstruction Treaties of uh, 1866 involving the Indians, you know, how the Colonians came over uh, and pretty much took over everything the Indians had. Um, I mean, now in 2020, Indians are sitting on, uh, you know, uh, a decent amount of property in uh, South Florida, which is where I'm, I'm from. Um, and on that land, they pretty much govern themselves. They have their own police force. Uh, uh, they have many, many of the casinos uh, all over this territory, up and down uh, Florida. Um, on Wikipedia, I just want, when you get a chance to go on Wikipedia, um, when you look at the Reconstruction Treaties, there's like a brief excerpt. I'll even read it to you. So that, you know, if you're listening to me, hopefully, uh, this will expand your consciousness so we can have better conversations about, you know, how we want to move forward in the future in regards to whatever issues we may have if, if it's in regards to, you know, racial racial things or how we can try and resolve, you know, these issues and these problems that we're having in this country. Uh, but I'm going to read it really quick to you and then we're going to go with some things really quick and I'm just going to close the video out. I don't want it to be too long. So the Reconstruction uh, Treaties, which you'll find on Wikipedia says here on the eve of the american civil war in 1861 a significant number of indigenous peoples of the americas have been relocated from the southeastern united states to indian territory west of the mississippi the inhabitants of the eastern part of the indian territory the five civilized tribes we'll talk more about the five civilized tribes uh, were su suzerain nations with established tribal governments well-established cultures and legal systems that allow for slavery before European contact, these tribes were generally matriarchal societies with give me one moment, my computer is loading, with agriculture being the primary economic pursuit. The bulk of the tribes lived in towns, some covering hundreds of acres and containing thousands of people, or planned streets, residential and public areas. The people were ruled by complex hereditary chiefdoms of varying size and complexity with high levels of military organization. By the middle of the 19th century, the United States government had started leasing land from the five civilized tribes in the western, more arid part of Indian territory. These leased lands were used to resettle several plains Indian tribes that tended to be nomadic in nature embracing the horse culture at the extreme it says here at the extreme the Kamachi tribe or society was based on it says patrilinear and patrilocal extended family sharing a common language they did not develop the political idea of forming a nation or tribe until relocation to Indian territory then it goes down to say, at the beginning of the Civil War, the Union Army was withdrawn from Indian ter territory, exposing the five civilized tribes to aggression from the Plains territories. The Confederacy filled the vacuum 
All of the five civilized tribes, as well as other surrounding tribes, signed the treaties with the Confederacy. As part of Reconstruction, the Southern Treaty Commission was created by Congress to write new treaties with the tribes that sided with the Confederacy. So that's basically what you'll, what you'll find at the top when you go search uh, Reconstructed Tribes on uh, Wikipedia, uh, Public Knowledge. Um, so I'm going to go into the five civilized tribes really quick. So I'm looking at this picture of the five civilized tribes that they have. As soon as you, I mean, you can you can bypass everything and just search five civilized tribes on Wikipedia, and it'll be the first picture at the top, and it'll show you what look like. Now remember, if all men originated from Africa, and you know we have different races and we have different you know creeds and religions and and things like that, but we're talking about America or what that land would have been called that at you know doing a point before all this stuff went down and this crazy madness that is it's been over 500 years of craziness almost going on you need to end this dispute but I'm looking at these people on this um, this Wikipedia page turn my camera around so you can see I don't know how good of a 